Hey guys, Adam here. and Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and you can also follow me on Instagram at SAF Athletics. Okay, so I want you guys to consider the following question. What happens to us as we age? Aside from the well-known physical and mental changes that come with age, what about something like speed and the effects on running, jumping and changing direction quickly? As we age, we start to lose that fast twitch muscle fiber. Our tendons and ligaments and joints begin to stiffen and shorten. So consider taking the balanced approach to your training and adding some fast, quick movements, explosive movements like the Olympic lifts, like the hip snatch, for instance, which will help your sprinting speed, your vertical jump, your flexibility, mobility, body composition. The benefits are undeniable. Now, what about posture? As we age, many people, their posture becomes affected. They start to hunch forward, their upper back begins to round, and they're unable to maintain that upright posture. So by learning an exercise like the overhead squat can have huge benefits in that department. Aside from being one of the best compound movements, it is also one of the best for correcting posture issues. It teaches focus and how to synchronize muscle movement. It will strengthen your core and improve your shoulder mobility because the bar is slightly behind your head. Now the big question to consider is, can anyone do overhead squats? And the short answer is no. There are always exceptions. Some people that have severe mobility problems or have had surgery on their shoulders or on their ankles or on knees or hips probably can't do overhead squats. But for most people who have good mobility, average mobility can learn how to do overhead squats. But you wanna start light. When I started these at 35 years of age, I used a broomstick until I built the flexibility, the balance, the mobility to do these. And over the years, I've gotten to the point where I can do a full depth overhead squat. And one thing that makes them both difficult and rewarding is that your knee has to track forward over your foot. It has to, there's no way around it, which is great for your knee and ankle mobility. And there are lots of ways to start the overhead squat. It doesn't have to be done from the ground like I did. It can be done from the rack and you just push press it up. And what you wanna do is you wanna lock your elbows out. Think about it like you're trying to spread the bar apart. You're not fully supporting the weight with your shoulders, but these will give you incredibly strong shoulders just the same. And that's it, guys. Hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for episode 62 of The Ways.